Exclamation, everybody. And uh, welcome to Gaia Beyond. It is by Warp Turtle. And uh, it's currently in early access right now on Steam, but it will be uh, getting released, I believe, on August the 20th. Um, based on the email that I received from the developers who uh, generously asked me to revisit their game. I had looked at this before, I believe, in 2018, October, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's long enough that I don't remember hardly any anything about it. <laughs> um, so this will be truly like a second first impressions. Um, uh, but also, uh, yeah, they, they asked me if I would uh, take a look at it. They're getting ready for the release coming up. Um, I believe I have the latest and greatest here. I have version 0.19.2. I believe they said they're just going to be doing some bug fixes between now and the 1.0 release that all the major stuff is in there and ready to go. So hopefully this will be a very accurate picture of what you'll get uh, upon release. It is also currently right now 15 bucks US on Steam. So, uh, without further ado, now it's a genre of it. It's, it's basically a, top, a 2D top-down uh, space shooter uh, with some with story, you know, overarching story and uh, <clears throat> I believe there were some like light RPG-ish elements. I can't quite remember, um, but uh, let's let's pop in and, and see for ourselves, shall we? Let me go uh, full screen here so we can get the full experience. And let's do it. Uh, let's see. I will go with uh, this dude, I think. And we will be a memory. Um, all right. So, what do I want to start with? So, if I start with Earth. If my place of birth is Earth, I start with a well-balanced shuttle. If my place of birth was Neptune. I start with a weaker but faster shuttle. And if I do Mercury, I start with a stronger but slower shuttle. Um. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do Mercury. Why not? Let's just see. Let's see how it, how it flushes out. Oh, also, uh, before I do that, hang on a second. Um, I believe there is a... Was there a difficulty thing here somewhere? No, okay. I Sometimes they have difficulty sliders in the actual... Uh, uh, in the options menu and not in the game itself. So, some of these games do. I just I couldn't remember if this was one or not. Uh, yeah, let's go with uh, Mercury. Chapter 1, Crash Course. Talk to Auxilium, the instructor. Right-click to select E to talk. So how does it feel to be free, memory? Um, feels great to be in space. I've waited a long time for this. I remember the first time I took off from Earth in my shuttle. Wish I could be back again. Um, you're still young enough to have some adventures, Exilium. Maybe. But I've had my share of adventures. It's time to go. It's good to get some rest. Uh, by the way, we should test your piloting skills one last time before we head back. Um... I mean, I guess I'll do a, a quick tutorial. Why not? VSD to move your ship towards the cursor. Hold X to stop the ship. Okay. Good job. You getting used to the controls? Yeah, sort of. Looks like. I'll tell you a secret. During my first training mission, I crashed right into an asteroid. Uh, just try to build up my confidence. 
So, see that old drone over there? It's a leftover from the machine war. Let's test your shooting skills on it. Try to destroy it with your primary weapon. Target, select the old drone and destroy it. Okay. You can target with middle click as well. Okay. Maybe I should put my thing on here so I can middle click. Uh, okay. Try that again. Okay, you have to middle click in order to make it an enemy. I see. So you don't accidentally friendly fire something. Okay. Good job, memory. You learn quickly. Keep going like this. You might overtake the old auxilia one day. Be careful. There's way bigger threats out there these days than a helpless piece of debris. If you ever run into trouble, come see us at the workshop. We got reliable stuff for little money and we fix broken engines. Anyway, we should head back uh, and talk to Zopa now. Try to select Pluto on your map so we can hit home. Use the map to navigate. Mouse wheel zoom. Or tab to hit. Yeah, okay, there we go. Before I forget, you've got a quick bar at the bottom of your screen. It contains important information about your ship and surroundings. The inventory manages your ship. The second is quest log in case you don't know where to go. Then there's the character overview to keep an eye on your improvements. And finally, you get the radar to avoid a dance with pirates on it. To avoid a dance with pirates or an asteroid crash. Um, Alright, let's go. Try to keep up. Alright, I'm on your six. Uh, okay, select Pluto and Q for autopilot. Got it. Works for me. You there! The Caduceus is ordering you to stop your vessel. Have you had your blood examined yet? The area around Pluto is contaminated. The Ganymede flu is spreading and we are here to contain it. Um, blood examined? Not that I can remember. Sashiro, Dr. Nortex has been calling. He needs to see you immediately. Something about rats and dogs I didn't understand. The doctor's project is of utter, uttermost importance. Uh, no need to understand the full complexity of everything he says. We can't stay then. I'll let our new recruit handle the situation. Me? Wait a minute, guys. I still can't fly a ship straight. I heard Mr. Shiro take that civilian to the station for a blood test by force if required. Eh, hold your engines. Shooting people wasn't part of the job description. I'll make you answer to the doctor if you refuse to do your job, Henderson. There they go. Okay, waiting for them to leave. What a glorious day at work. My wife told me to reject this offer. A job is a job after all. You'll have to follow me into the station for a standard quarantine procedure. If you won't comply, I'll have to use force. Um, well, just let me through. No one needs to know. Your persuasion techniques are way too primitive. Begging like this won't help. Prepare yourself. Okay. Auto pause. Alright. Well, this is one way to kill a guy. My wife was right. I totally suck. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's the thing. Thing that happens. Get down here, I guess. And autopilot. Okay. Topus greenhouse. Balderdash. I don't believe this one bit. That Mr. Shiro could bite my wrinkled ass. I agree. No communications, no radar. Nothing is working since those guys came down on us. Most of the colonists want to leave after this incident. Additionally, that idiot Chandros is inciting a lot of hysteria. Right now, he's at Teal's Infirmary making a fool of himself. Damn him to Earth! He's been causing a lot of problems lately. What are you talking about? What's going on here? Um, I think I just ran into a guy named Mr. Shiro. You did? You always leave me behind. 
Be thankful they didn't shoot you. Put their ships down right on top of us. Mackenzie almost got squashed. It upset him from the start. <laughs> well, I mean, they did kind of shoot me. Then they went on about some kind of sickness spreading and forced everyone to do some blood tests. Mackenzie declined. He didn't believe Caduceus one bit. Most colonists seemed to agree with him. Then one of the guards shot him. What the? Are you kidding? Is he alive? He's alive and well. Teal is taking care of him. Those guys were nothing more than thugs, if you ask me. Um, anything I can do to help? For now, we don't know anything. The first thing we need to do is get some information about what's going on out there. Caduceus plants some kind of drones around orbit to prevent us from using communication and radar. We have to get rid of them before we can do anything else. There are a lot of pirates out there only waiting for an opportunity like this. Destroy all three Caduceus drones that are jamming our signals, then come back and visit me at Exilium's workshop. Got it? Sounds like a plan. Okay. Uh, everything else is locked off to me. What we got here? Pilot license. We learned how to pilot a space vessel. Great. Uh, I have one point, though. Pedal to the floor. Increase your ship speed. Well, I might need that. Increase view of radius. Uh, let's do this one. Since we have a slow ship as it is. Uh, okay, cool. Well, let's go. Go and do our thing here. <laughs> Just banging right into them. Okay. Ooh, 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 15 XP and something here. What is this? Aluminum. Cool. Sounds like this sound is kind of fading out for for your guns and stuff. I don't know if that's intentional or or what there. Unless it's uh, you know it might be coming over to the right hand side of my of my headphones since I don't have my right headphone on. Maybe that's what maybe that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Please, Ben, I've had enough of Chandra's hysterics. I need to get to the bottom of this, and I can't work with him looking over my shoulder and complaining all the time. I'm sorry, Teal. He's the most sensitive idiot I know. I'm going to try to take him off your back as soon as I'm finished up here. You're back, memory. Any good news? I took care of the drones. You're right. Looks good. Communications are back online. Radar's back, too. Great job. Seems Caduceus placed a lot of these drones around the system. Can't hurt to take them all down, if you ask me. Still don't know about that Ganymede flu, but placing those drones at exit with Mackenzie, shutting us off from the outside communication. I mean, their whole act is just messed up. Listen, memory, we still need some favors from you to keep help to keep things running here. Yeah, I need to prepare a blood test for the whole colony, so if you can, please visit the ISA outpost on Nix and ask for a blood test kit. Not necessary, but it could be really helpful later on to know if there's really an infection. Um, well, I have nothing better to do, so count me in. Another problem. Like I thought, Vasquez and his men are preparing an attack since our systems went offline. We're defenseless for now. I need you to visit Cameron at Griefswald Station. Get some defense turrets from him to place them around Pluto. He still owes me a favor. Tell Cameron if he gives you the turrets for free, I'll forget about that one time with Sharon. He may need some persuasion, though. All right, three defense turrets. Got it. And I'll keep Sharon in mind. <laughs> uh, okay. So, is that everything here? Is this, um... Is she saying the same thing? Okay. All right, so I can ask her questions and stuff. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. I'm not going to rush that right now. 
Okay, so where do they have me going to? Griswold and then Prometheus. Let me go to Prometheus for something here. I believe. I do believe. So somebody that wants to talk to me, apparently. Do, 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 do. Am I going to hit that? Oh, okay. Oh, good. I probably avoided it. Nice. There we go. And uh, who was I supposed to talk to? Cargo units. Must have forgotten to check this one. It's not locked and it seems to be something inside. Open it. Find some water and an old shield. Okay. Um, uh, cargo unit, big crate, someone already opened and took everything that was once inside. Careful where you step, these old hulks can be quite dangerous, there might be dozens of them out there. I'm researching old wrecks like this for the eyes sake, you never know what's on them. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Last hallway. Close for some four. That's not the right four. For some mysterious reason, the lock's still working. Um, I don't know if my repair or my hacking's better, but we'll try it. I don't know how to open it. Hacking? I don't know enough to hack this. Okay. So that didn't do anything. Was I supposed to go here? I guess I wasn't supposed to go here. Um, what's small axe? Uh, I don't know. Looks pretty funky, though. Um, I guess I wasn't supposed to go there. Oh, here it is. Oh, Nyx. This is Nyx up here. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I saw this giant thing on the map. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm supposed to go here. Now I kind of regret not taking the faster ship. <laughs> okay. I say exploration outposts. Uh, Patoon. I'm the last working staff on this ISA outpost. They just don't care anymore. Just hope they don't forget to pay me. Recently, the ISA discovered some strange object outside the Kuiper Belt back at Tenhauser Research Station. That's what it's all about now. Um, what strange object? Don't know, but it's big and in pieces. At least that's what I've heard. Uh, ISA? Independent Science Academy. It has been founded decades ago. Its last leader was Dr. Prioris, but he died. His successor is Dr. Bashir. It's a... You have a genetic, uh, <laughs> genetically enhanced uh, doctor. Um, Tenhauser Research Station. Yes, it's far away, but that's where all the hot stuff is happening right now. All right, Teal needs a blood test kit. Teal, a blood test kit. I mean, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, I say it's distributing these things for free anyway. Okay. Here you go. You can have this one. Thanks a lot. Sometimes E is not working to move that forward. Uh, do you have any other stuff in here? Painkillers and stuff. Um, I 
I wonder... Should I sell this iron and aluminum, or do I need it for something else? I might need it for something else. Also, I've got this uh, old shield here, which... Uh, I think is better. Strength is better. Yeah, I should probably put this old shield on. It's got more value as well. Um, anyway, let's leave here. Uh, let's look at my inventory. So, old shield, can I... Can I put that on there? There we go. Um, and... Iron Ben's Barrier. Okay. We're good there. I think we're good there. So, let's head to here. Ooh, wait, wait, can I? Let's grab this along the way too. Why not? Welcome to the market on Griswold. My name is Cameron, and I'm in charge of, your mining, of our mining equipment. How can I help you? Uh, ben from Pluto uh, sent me. We need a pack of defense turrets. Ben, that stupid, stupid crook. He hasn't said hi for years. What does he need now? Defense turrets for his lousy colony? You can tell him the com comradeship is always willing to lend a helping hand, but we're not a charity organization. Of course, you can pay for it if you got the money. Uh, ben sounded like you still owed him a favor. I don't owe Ben nothing. He's always angry about some shit I haven't done at all. Uh, he told me that I'll forget about that one time with Sharon. Playing a guilt card? That's not working with me. Okay, that didn't work. Um, can I try it again? Nope. <laughs> I have no persuasion. None whatsoever. Uh... See, 600 credits. Okay, so I need 600 credits to get this thing. Um, all right, which I probably have. I can only tell you what I told you yesterday. There's no old genome engine core in our storage, and there's no way we can get one anytime soon. Ah, I won't get off this forsaken station if I can't get an old genome engine core. I'm stuck here. You should just buy one of our new ships and forget about your old vessel. No, I just can't forget about Matilda. That shuttle stood by me in times of need. Without Matilda, I'm not going to leave here. Just saying, you'll need a lot of luck to get that old parts like that anymore. Hmm. Alright, let's see if you... I'll leave Matilda here. I'll stay until I get that old genome engine core and fix her up. What do you need? Um... Who's Matilda? Matilda, she's my shuttle, my vessel, my travel companion. She's been with me through some tough times. I'll never leave her. Uh, how'd you end up here? Yeah, I don't even know. To be honest, I didn't even know we had stations this far out. Okay. Energy cells, mining modules, and defense turrets. For repairs. Okay. Beyond Quipper is the bar's name. Hmm. Greetings, comrade. Welcome to the comradeship of... Keep this guy away from me and be sick. I'm not sick. Leave me alone. Last time I was on Ganymede, there was no sickness spreading. If you want to be sure, you should send this guy to quarantine at Kadusha Station. There is an epidemic spreading and Ganymede was the source. You don't know what you're talking about. I've just got checked by a doctor at Lash... Lashkar Ga. I'm fine. I'm just a messenger, sir. Caduceus is trying to keep everyone safe. Don't trust the Isaiah on this one. Get this guy out then, or I'll throw him into space personally. 
I only get sick because of you Ganymede bastards. But take care of the situation, visitor. Maybe you can come back later. Um, support Dustin. Leave him alone. This guy doesn't seem sick to me. Leave him alone. He has the same rights as everyone else. I'm not here to tell you how to handle these problems, but you're risking a lot of people's lives here for the personal freedom of one individual. Oof. If he's not leaving, I'm leaving. Then good, leave. <laughs> then good. Then good, I say. Um, Dustin? Thanks for standing up for me. Galena sure had it out for me. That Caduceus Guard sure is stirring up trouble for people from Ganymede. Here's a little something for an upstanding citizen like you. Oh my god, first aid kits. Cool. Alright, let's for now, I guess. Stop! Hold! Rewind! You there, civilian. I'm from the Caduceus. Did you destroy our satellites around Pluto? They were part of an important project, you know? We we're trying to contain the Ganymede flu, you know? Um, you're nothing but thugs. Wait, wait, wait. We're the ones actually helping you guys here. If you're not willing to cooperate, I'm going to shoot you back into orbit. Okay... Damn. Okay. Well, that was a thing. Um, sure. So, can I, can I load that up again? Um, auto save dialogue, I guess. I don't know which one to. Okay, yeah, this one again. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's get out of there a little bit. So I found an area where he can't fire at me. Wait till the doctor gets a hold of you. <laughs> yeah, I'll let him. Cat support gun. Uh, hello. I will put that on the other side. Go. Uh, trash, water, iron, first aid kits, blood test kit. All right, I think we're good here. I think we're good here. Uh, let's head back to here with our test kits anyway. Just random uh, aluminum and stuff just hanging around here. It looks like it. Supreme not oh that's a that's a gun. Some kind. Mmm. Hydrogen. More hydrogen, alright. What was that gun that I got? It is 1.53 GPS. Wow, that's nothing. <laughs> that does absolutely nothing. Holy crap. So Axie's gun, what is this? And then this one, CAD support gun, 11.6. Yeah, that, that gun does does nothing at all. The gun, it does nothing. I wonder if the decimal point was wrong on that. I wonder if it was supposed to be 11.6, not 1.6. <laughs> I 
go. And Teal's Infirmary. Somebody in the colony could already be sick right now. Maybe it's maybe just one or two, but by spring it could be all of us. Don't you get it, Teal? I already told you, Chandros. I'm preparing a blood test for everyone, and we'll see about that. I'm sick and tired of your hysterics, and they will get us nowhere. There's one little doctor, that Mr. Shiro looks so official. Kadusha seems to be a big organization with a lot of high-tech equipment. I bet they know what they're doing. You're not even listening. And what are you trying to say? Just one little doctor and the ISA provide this place with up-to-date equipment. No offense, Teal, but there could be something in our blood that your ISA techs and science can't even recognize. Something new. You just don't know. It's useless talking to you. I mean, there's an epidemic at our front door and you're all getting ready to fight the guys with the cure. I'm leaving. Ah, <sighs> ah. It's you, Memory. Did you get the blood test kit? Um, I got it. How is Mackenzie holding up? He's fine for now. That leg, the leg that got shot was a prosthesis anyway. He lost that one during the war with the machines. Don't wake him up for now. He really needs to sleep. And I will need a replacement for his leg soon. Thanks a lot for the blood test kits. I will start testing people in the, in the infirmary. If you'd help me out by distributing these blood test vials among the colonists, that would be much appreciated. All right. I will help you with that. Take a blood sample from everyone. All right, Luma. Luma seems to be asleep. Um, let her be, I guess. Mackenzie. Uh, better let him rest. Sun Moon, a guy with a number on his cheek, lies on one of the Teal's hospital beds. He has some bandages around his head, is breathing slowly. He seems to be asleep. Okay. So I go to here and talk to Zopa. Keep helping Ben and the rest of the colony memory. I'm thinking about how to handle the situation. Um, uh, how did you end up leading a colony on Pluto? Not really leading anything, I'm just managing everyone's problems. I'll try to fix my garden. Uh, okay, so these aren't, these don't count then, I guess. Miss Eliza? Bee boop, zoink. It's like an old robot, but seems pretty broken. Try fixing it. I don't know anything about repairing a robot. Yep. Yep. Uh,. So, see your memory, this whole caduceus business is pretty messed up. If you ask me nowadays, you never know what kind of maniacs you meet in outer space. By the way, I can repair your ship and sell you some weapons. There are a lot of pirates around, so keep an eye on your shield and health bar. Don't forget, some weapons can also be upgraded with specific materials. It might be worth it. Anything you need? Um, show me your weapons. So I can kind of sell you this. Right. Give you that. Um, and I'll give you this back as well. It gives me 980 credits, which is enough to go buy that other thing that they need. Um, hmm. No, um, trash. Do I just give him the trash? I mean, it's only value is only one. I don't know if it's just just trade him the whole thing. I guess I don't know. Give him. I'll just give him some trash. <laughs> Why not? We'll just call him Oscar the Grouch. Um. All right, I don't need anything right now. So we'll leave there. Uh, and exit this place. And then we'll go back over here.
you know, I like this. I like that I don't have to babysit the autopilot or anything. Just figures out how to get there. Alright, come on over here. Talk to him again. And... Under credits, uh, about 500 credits. I apparently don't have any persuade. All right, here's 600 credits. Uh, you need to get nine aluminum to make those things work again. All right. Oh, it gave me a rusty mining laser for free. Uh, you better equip it. Uh, there's even better mining equipment available in some places. Now go out there and shoot those rocks down. Okay. But how much aluminum do I have? Because I have a bunch already. Uh, I only have two. We need nine. Um, so which one of these is the less powerful one? This is 16 DPS. 11.6. Alright, we'll take that one. Oh wait, I wonder... Can I put this, like... And there, no, no, it's, I guess it's color coded. That's weird. I can't just put them anywhere. All right, I'll take that off then. The mining laser there. Point six. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta make sure not to, uh, not to, uh, sell that or anything. Alright, let them not overheat here. We're going to try to get Tram and iron. Uh, can I find aluminum here somewhere? I'm guessing it's not going to be a thing on any of these here. Oh no, there's some aluminum. Okay. You get some on various rocks. I'm trying to I'm monitoring my heat bars over there and trying not to Make the things overheat. That's why I keep stopping. Is not what I wanted to do at all. There you go. All right, doing a little bit of mining here.
There we go, finally. We got seven out of eight of the aluminum that we need. Let's go try this rock out and see if we get some random aluminum here. Turn to Ben, as the thing says. So something on Nyx for me. Hmm. Weird. I thought I had completed the thing up there, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, wait a minute here. like three of them on me come on really oh, and I do not like this move to cursor thing you fly W key always flies you to your cursor which is I do not like that <laughs> at all um, I would prefer it just be WASD and then the cursor is just the cursor Attempts to shoot wherever you're trying to shoot, but all right, come on now. And he's done for. One less on my back. Definitely not a fair fight. Alright, where was this other guy? I think this is the other one that dropped. Maybe? There's a couple down here. Yep, yeah, okay. Organic grind. And tritium. Okay. Ooh, I don't like getting jumped on your way back to the star base here, or planet, anyway.
Okay, colony. Oh, here, now we access the colony. Okay, so now we can try to get uh, blood samples and stuff. Ah, oh, memory, are you believing this? Maybe an epidemic at our front door and they're getting ready to fight off the guys with the medicine. This would never have happened back home. Um, what makes you so sure about Caduceus? To read their brochure, it's really well made. There are witness reports, statistics, and horrible pictures of people infected by Ganymede flu. It's totally believable. I just can't take Teal series after reading the facts. Um, mind giving me a blood sample? But in mind, of course I would. I just told you I don't believe in what Teal says. If she was up to this, she would have known about the Ganymede flu in the first place. Uh,. Won't well, hurt to take another blood test. Listen, you don't even know what you're talking about. Have you read the Caduceus brochure? Did you see the pictures? Teal won't change what's coming. We should cooperate with Caduceus. Um, Caduceus shot Mackenzie. You shouldn't trust him. Mackenzie was complaining and not getting in line. Caduceus takes the stuff very serious, you know? It's his fault for getting in their way. Okay. By the Redeemer, the fates cursed this colony because of Zopa's rotten robot. Uh, she even gave that machine a name. What a sacrilege. That Ganymede flu is coming over us to make us pay for this sin. Can't you see what's happening, my friend? Time is a circle. Um, I think you're over-exaggerating. I see. You're like everyone else in this forsaken colony. Forgetting the past. Speaking machines. Ah, devil machinery, I'd say. Then you have the New Testament version to upgrade your existence into the realms of the Holy Redeemer. Um, so what's your problem with machines? Do you know nothing about the machine war? How Zentron and his soulless robots almost exterminated humanity over a decade ago? Where have you been? I bet you were sitting or hiding away somewhere in a bunker. Shame on you. Uh, okay. Um, what do you know about the Ganymede flu? I just know that we didn't have any legs around here till Zopa activated that damn robot. I don't see how it's related. Machines are evil. They were responsible for the death of millions. We never should have developed them this far and bringing back robots is a bad omen like none other. Uh, okay. You mind giving your blood sample for Teal? I'll do it just to keep that, just keep that robot away from me. Oh, okay. That was easier than I thought it would be. All right, I'll see what I can do. Uh, Eric Stoltz. Would you mind giving your blood sample for Teal? Hmm, he opens his hands. I guess. Hmm, thanks, I guess. All right, Marcel Wallace. <laughs> just don't ask him for his, just don't ask him for his wallet. This is outrageous. I came here to make a profit, maybe get a small shop running, but not get slapped in the face by some wannabe doctors. I'll take Earth's corruption and pollution over this crap any day. At least I can make some money there. Um, Still make a profit here. Ow, oh, nobody wants to buy my outdated stuff, and we can't produce anything up to date because we still haven't got the mining going. No resources, no new products, no clients, no profit. You get the drift. If I could get rid of my old stuff, that would give me some motivation. Uh, I can help sell some of it. I guess so. If you could sell my old stuff, or you get this shop business going. But I won't stop packing my things. If things go south, I'm going to leave without thinking twice about it. Okay. So what I need to get rid of is... An old genome engine core. I know where that goes. Some old nuclear batteries. And some old water filters for space stations. You can sell this stuff anywhere around here. I'm convinced to stay. But traders won't buy them. Don't even bother trying. I have to find someone who really needs them. Good luck and thanks for your effort. Okay. Uh, also, okay, Teal wants us to do a blood test just to be sure. Would you help me to get rid of these old parts? I'll cooperate. Give me that vial. Okay. Uh, Robin Isaac. Hey, memory, you know what happened? My husband is already packing our things together. We're trying to leave as soon as possible. We're better off paying our proxy back on Earth some protection money than risking our lives out here. Um, what's a proxy? Proxies are elected politicians back on Earth. The whole system of the Atlantic Alliance is corrupt. They squeeze every coin out of families like ours. Um, 
can still make the uh, we can still make this work. Samuel is convinced that we're not safe here anymore. Poor Mackenzie already got hurt. My family is most important to me. If we don't feel safe here. We can't stay. Um. So you think the Ganymede flu is real? I don't know. If there really is an epidemic out here, we should leave as soon as possible. I'm not sure what to believe. Uh, well, I need your blood sample for Teal. Of course, Teal's a wonderful doctor, and it would help out a lot to know we're not affected already. Sure hope so. Could you take care of your son's blood sample, too? No problem. Teal knows her stuff, and it would be good to know if someone's sick or not. Okay. Thanks a lot. That's all for now. Uh, and... Samuel Isaac? Hey, remember you're back from your test flights? I'm sorry I don't have a lot of time right now. Me and my family are leaving the colony after the whole incident. We're planning to go back to Earth. I don't mind the corruption and pollution there if we don't have to handle things like Caduceus. By the way, could you do me a favor? Um, what favor? I need to know if we can get back in our old district on Earth. It's overpopulated even though it's not a good place to live. There's a guy named Prescott on FTA Sampson who would have, who should have some living permits to sell. We need official alliance permits to get a place on any alliance plants. Should you ask Prescott before he runs out of permits while me and my family are packing things together? Of course. Great. Just ask Prescott about some kind of living place for family on Earth. He should be at the bank on FTA Samson. Not that far from here. Just hope they get something for us. Uh, but also, dude, I uh, need your blood sample. Consider it done. Just give me the vial. I'll do it after packing the rest of our stuff. Okay. Uh, Zhao? I'm so worried about Jurgen. Since my last visit, visit on Ganymede, we've always kept contact. We didn't write back after my last letter. I heard what Kadush said, and Chandros is telling everyone that ep epidemic is coming for us. I just hope Jurgen is not sick or worse. Uh, maybe I could take a look for you. To do that, Ganymede is pretty far, but if you get there by chance, would you maybe take my next letter with you? Of course. Thanks a lot. After all, he's my soulmate. He always writes back, and I haven't heard from him since last week. Please find him. Also, um, Teal wants us to do a blood test. I want to see Jurgen again. I don't want to infect him with anything. Better safe than sorry. I'm up for it. Okay. Cool. Uh, Kit Moon out of the frying pan into the fire. My brother's son and me. Stranded here right before Kadush paid a visit. We had some engine troubles and ran into pirates. Son got hurt and your Dr. Teal is taking care of him now. As soon as he wakes up, we need to continue our journey to Hiro Hirochu. Um, would you mind giving your blood sample for a doctor? Better safe than sorry. I'm up for it. Thanks for helping out. Uh, where do you come from? From the Sphere. We started our journey on Neptune and tried to reach the Imperial City on Hokuchu. Hoku Okuchu, I guess, is that... Uh, Okuchu, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the moving capital of the sphere. The old emperor died, and there's a big mourning ceremony taking place at the place in a few weeks. My brother's son and me are the delegates of the moon family. As soon as my brother recovers, we'll have to find a way to get off this planet and reach the capital. Otherwise, we bring shame to our family. Um, what's the sphere? Sphere is one of the largest factions in the system. Over a century ago, we were the first to colonize other planets in the system. It was hard, but thanks to our first ruler, the glorious Emperor Zhao Ping, our people made it while the Alliance in J-12 kept fighting over the last resources on Earth. Uh, a moving capital? It's like a big space station, but it can move a lot faster. There are almost one million people living in the Imperial City. Building the capital was one of Emperor Zhao Ping's biggest achievements. Um, do they know about the guy I mean flu there? I didn't hear of any epidemic outbreak or sickness like that back on Jupiter or anywhere in our regions, but you never know. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess that's all for now. So just Chandra, so we need to... Um, where was your home before? I was part of the J-12 and lived on Jupiter. It was hard, but there was order and rules. This colony's a loony bit. J-12 would never allow something like the Ganymede flu to flourish. They're strict and dead. Um, am I so sure here? Uh, 
let's sample it would help the colony um i almost think Denise, what's your issue i'm always in pain i usually get painkillers from teal for my headaches but she stopped giving them to me you could get some for me i'd give you my blood sample all right i guess Great, I just need some standard issue painkillers by ISA. We won't get any from Teal. Pytoon should have some. Okay. So let's go to his workshop here and talk to Ben. Got the stuff from Cameron. Got both. Good job. I'm going to set up the turrets in orbit. Better too early than too late. Parts are everywhere these days. By the way, you still need a thruster to keep up out there. Rajid told me he left one behind at Memorial on Sharon. Go and get it and pay Rajid a visit so he can upgrade her ship. Okay. Uh, I guess the automatic... I can't have him repair my ship. Maybe he already did repair my ship. Hmm. Um, I guess we'll go get rid of that one part that we know about. Hey, memories, Reggie. Good to see. Uh, good, you and Ben already put up those defense turrets. So I totally forgot to tell you guys about that incoming pirate wave. You ready for a fight? Uh, yeah. Good to hear. I was worried there for a second. Try to keep as many turrets alive as possible. Up, crew, this is an opportunity. Tonight we'll be feasting on this de defense colony. Time for some looting. Okay. Well, here they come. Wow, the turrets are just taking down their shields, which is awesome. Ow, forgot you bang into things. There we go, good job, you did it. There's more incoming. Now we're here, we can't go back empty handed, you land rats, attack with all you got. Need a second wave of pirates. Alright, here they come. Nice big wave too. Down here, some more. Okay. One more just up here. Oop. Alright. Woohoo, well done. Now it's time to get that thruster back. Okay. So, um, where are we headed over here? Machine War Memorial. Uh, Rajid's thruster. You may not have noticed him before, but like Ben said, Rajid's thruster is laying near the memorial. Pick it up. Pristine thruster for shuttles. No one knows why Ben misplaces stuff like this on a Forsaken Moon. <laughs> I have to take this to Rajid. Okay. Shara Memorial. Over 10,000 human souls perished in the orbit of Nyx during the early days of the Machine War. This memorial is dedicated to their sacrifice and shall remind us of those dark days. Uh, continue to read. In the year 144 AM, the Tyrell Corporation undertook 
Tyrell, uh, undertook a deep space exploration tour in a Pluto sector while stationed in the orbit of Sharon. The primary service bot Zentron malfunctioned and ordered the, his division of service robots to attack and kill all human elements inside the Tyrell fleet. The assault came as a surprise, and many lives were lost. The battle around Sharon took four whole days, and over 10,000 people died during the battle. The Tyrell fleet and with its humanity, lost its first fight against the uprising machines under the merciless command of Zentron. Also, Victoria is a visitor here. Pesky pirates are everywhere these days. Their leaders must be pretty charismatic. Uh, got anything to trade? <laughs> That's great. And all we got anything to trade? Ooh. What is the... Oh, it's a medium turret. So I can't use it because it's... I, I only have light turrets. Hmm. How about Oxy's gun? What is this? 16 DPS? So I can get rid of this CAD support gun then? Alright, let's take that. And take that. There we go. Uh, and Jesus Thruster, we gotta put that on. Just don't know if I need any of these other things or I just sell them. Alright. Save travels. Let's leave there. Uh, exit. Let's go into my inventory and equip these things. So that goes over there. Uh, the thruster goes on the back. Excellent. Get some good thrusters going. I guess that's my... Uh, I assume I can do shift to go... Um, go faster. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's short. It's charging up. Okay. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And... Rajid's garage. Let's go talk to Rajid. There you are, memory. You've been to Sharon and got my thruster back. I got it. I don't know what's wrong with me. If my head wasn't touched my shoulders, I would forget it every morning. Okay. Give me that thing. Just a few screws here and there. We're going to upgrade your shuttle so you can move a lot faster. By the way, as soon as you get another ship, I will store your old one here in the garage. You can exchange your vessel at every planet with a garage of its own. If you happen to come by any blueprints out there, we can craft you a new ship right here. We just need the right materials, of course. There you go, the thruster's done. Try using it with your left shift while accelerating. Yep, there you go. But beware not to crash into space junk. Yep. Now it's time to get back to Zopa to start your journey. Okay. So... What that one guy at the colony? Um, Zopa here. That's what you gotta say for yourself. Right on time, Emery. The colonists are still in distress. It's time to take a close look at Caduceus. Are you prepared to get out there? Uh, yep. Ben gave me the brochure he took from Chandros. It reads like a bad advertisement, but at least it tells you how to find them. This station seems to be located quite far from here, near, near the Kuiper Belt. We need Exilium and Ben to keep things running in the colony. So you're the only one available right now. Before you go, make sure you bought some proper equipment from them. It's going to be a long and dangerous journey, and you won't find much help out there. Watch your back. And don't forget the colonists. After what happened, who knows if they'll still be here if you're gone too long. I'll be careful, Zopa. All right. Um, so let me go to this other thing here. Go back over here, right? And we'll get rid of these thruster packs. The farm. Mining station. Okay. I'll throw these thruster packs that this guy wanted me to get rid of. Oh, crap. Damn, these guys show up really f quickly here. Now they just jump on your back real fast. Let's 
Let's see if I can get a good shot in on them. There we go. Alright, we're gonna grind out of that. Okay, and then we go to here, and this guy. I won't leave until they're here. I'll stay until I get that old genome engine core and get fix her up. What do you need? I have an old genome engine core. You do? Please, I need it. Matilda's too, far too old for these new parts they sell everywhere. I'll pay 400 credits for it. I don't have any Persuade, so I'm just going to say 400 is all right. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. I'll fix Matilda up in no time, and then we'll be on our way. Cool. Um, Ivano? I'm a student of Rinzel. He's really, it's really boring out here in the Corporate Belt. We only produce and sell low tier weapons and shields, and even the pirates out here are no fun to play with. Uh, better a boring job than no job at all? Maybe you're right. My mom always used to say, better safe than sorry. Okay. Kind of want to, uh, see your shop here. Oh wow, that's funny. That's really funny. So because I equipped, oh, I found a bug. <laughs> I found a bug, I think. Because I equipped that thruster, it gave me a duplicate one. Uh, five seconds, I think they're both the same, right? 25%, 55 seconds, delay one second. Yeah, it gave me a duplicate one, which means I could sell I can sell this one, <laughs> get, get some extra money I wouldn't have otherwise been able to get. Um, simple mining equipment necessary for harvesting raw materials. Tyrium, AT alloy, defense turret. I don't need those. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go to the other guy here. Renzel. Your client need better mining equipment, shields, weapons, upgrades, even a new shuttle. Welcome to Rinzel, the engineer. That's me, of course. Uh, show me the goods. Ooh, got some armor. Comrade shield, which is not as good as the one I got. The old shield I found. The Varjish barrier. <laughs> this one is better. In all respects of the term, it's 1350. Uh, I don't have, let me see what I can get for this. Trade that in. 1058. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if I could just offload some of these other things, whether I really need them or not. Thorium. Yeah, strontium. Silver. Hydrogen. We only have so many cargo slots anyway. Uh, flowers, I guess. Uh, they're 83 value? Okay. Uh, organic rind. Swell. And brined, I guess. Trade all that. Cool. It's 2016. So I can get this and we'll swap those out. And then we got some armor. Oh, that's a shield. Uh, mining laser, better mining laser might be good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, mining laser mark one and rusty mining laser. Uh, I don't think I have enough. Do I have enough credits? Oh yeah, I do. No, I don't. That'd be negative 84. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 28 DPS. 
on the Maxim guns. Uh, I wonder if I can... I don't have credits there, and then that's not enough credits. Can I, if I do this, I can get both of those Maxim guns, which is good. Yeah, 28, and then, well, the Soros shooter is it's 40 DPS. These are 15. So, 40 DPS there. Uh, 50. Axel, Axel's gun, sort of shooter. So these are 28.8 DPS. More damage per shot. Well, less damage per shot. Uh, better firing rate. They take less energy. I don't know what max energy 1500 is. They're slower speed. Uh, I think I'll I think I'll do that. Let's, can I get this other mining laser though? No. Um, so I'll take that off there. I'll take the rusty mining laser off there. We'll trade those. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll just sell this water off here. I don't know if I need it. Um, it's twenty-two fifty. I've got eleven forty-two. All right. Well, we got something to shoot for. Uh, so exit there. Leave. Um, we're in the bar here, Dragon. Welcome to the Clippers Belt Bar. What can I serve you? Uh. Jobs? Let me think. Comrade Tesla received a distress signal from one of his miners. He needs someone to check it out as soon as possible. Tesla over there might have a job for you. I think his mineral transports need protection or something. Go ask him about details. I don't think I've heard any about anything else. Okay. Information. There's not much to tell. Griswold's one of the most outer COC stations in the system. We mine, trade raw materials and resources. Lately, we're having some problems with pirates, but also this Caduceus guard showed up distributing brochures or whatever. Okay. Tesla? We received this trust call from one of our miners. We need a volunteer to check it out. Alright. Please hurry. I don't know what happened to them. There's a lot of pirates around lately, so watch your back. Alright, let's go see what that's about. But also... The market. Yeah. Okay. My quest log here. Find out. So distress call. Disposition of the distress call. Profit 30%. Okay. Okay. Lots of quests to do. So where's the distress call at? Is it? That one? I guess it's that one up there. With the shield, I would imagine. Oh, I gotta equip my stuff. I'm not gonna be able to shoot anything without stuff equipped. Uh, let's put that shield on. Uh, and... That should be everything right now. Shield is taking a while to charge up, though. I end up getting here before the shield's done. Oh wow, they overheat really quickly. Nothing in there? Damn, the ship's already destroyed, but wait! They're... Survivors, go pick them up before they run out of air. Okay, well, let me go do that. Oh, so this was actually just parts of the ship that were destroyed. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's hilarious. The sound effects. Great, you got them all. Bring them back to safety. Wait a moment, there's something on our radar. Ah, are you all right, Lizzie? As always, this was our good bait. Yes, my calculations are always correct. <laughs> a robot. Okay, Dark Batter Delta V. Pirates, hurry back here. Don't overestimate yourself out there. Uh, well, I mean, picking these guys on a couple times already. Although not with, well, actually I have the better shields now, so. How about them apples? Yeah, this, these guns that these guys have are ridiculous. All right, time to get out of here. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Just awesome. Just bashed right into one. Uh, okay. Let's uh, resume. You got them all, bring them back to safety. Yeah, we got all this here. There we go. You know, once I get their shield through their shields, this this gun works well. I can stay just outside their weapons range, which is nice. There we near this station or whatever it is that's shooting them. There we go. Military clothing. Oh wow, did all those guys get destroyed? Looks like they did. Oh wait, there's another one coming in over there. Oh, yep, he got destroyed as well. Cool. Uh, I guess I bring them back here, huh? There we go, and to the bar with us. Tesla, you made it. I knew that Vasquez was behind this. Thanks for saving him. Oh, I gotta level up. Uh, seems us guys and the rest of the scum are getting more and more dangerous. Good job. Okay. Uh, Dustin. I don't know what happened on Gammy, but I'm pretty sure there was no sickness spreading when I left. Okay, he's already. Sir, Sergi? Sir, Sergey? Surges? <laughs> I have my eye on you. Alright. That's, that's a thing. Uh, okay, so I did that. Let's go get our level up here. So, I got Pell to the floor. Persuasion and Explorer here. This is my attack damage. Yes, some more attack damage. Probably should get Persuasion because that's something that would be very, very useful here. Uh, locations visited, destroyed, 
Cool. Yeah, I got like zero persuasion, zero hacking, zero mechanic. Yeah, I should probably start working on those. Okay, so then down here, wait a minute, before we go down there, where is, where, whoop, that's not what I want. Um, we have going on here, Isaac's want to return to Earth. Okay, so that's the Prescott thing, and then, you know, I got these other things here. All right, we'll go down and do this one down here. We can. Try and destroy some things along the way, too. Get some, get some XP build up. Combat is not, uh, it's uh, pretty basic, unfortunately. There's not a whole lot to it. It's like, just absorb as much damage as you can. Absorb more damage than the enemy's dishing out is basically combat. Some nitrogen. It looks like there's some stuff over here. Maybe. That was just pieces of a ship. I don't know if shooting these actually ends up doing anything. Or if mining them. I'm, well, okay, here we go. 1 XP and it dropped some cheap clothing. Okay. that leave that be I'm not really getting much out of those so we got a got a Sally here or something that's blocking our transmissions another one is yet yeah, there it is Go four or fifty of those to destroy. Aluminum. Is this where we have to go to talk to? Oops. This is where we have to go to talk to. Uh, which would do it? Cargo bank. Uh, Prescott. Yep. What now? What do you want? I already have one catastrophe on my hand. Um, what's wrong? Some thugs from J-12 broke in here and stole some of my living permits for Earth. Nobody wants to live there anyway, but I still need my stuff back or the FDA is going to fire me. Maybe I can get them back. Great. Listen, those permits have a transmitter on them. I'll mark their position for you. Persuade them, shoot them down, I don't care, but if you get my parents back, I'll have what you need. Okay. Also, there's a cargo container here. I can't do anything with it. Alright. <laughs> Thought maybe I could do something with it. Okay, which one of those is the thing I just thing I just did? Um Painkillers, uh, sleeping pods, but spring should be all of us. Take a blood sample, profit, uh, crash course. Now, what is this? Get the living permits back. Here we go. Sleeping pods for three, no pets is the name of it. Is that one here? Yep, it's that one there.
Boom, boom. Do, do, do. Boom, 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 boom. Music is very good. Um, I don't know how much of it you can hear, but it's it's pretty decent. The artwork's been good too. Just it's a little, it's a little lacking in the. You know, um, the story is, hasn't really been that, hasn't really grabbed me yet. Uh, and the, uh, the combat is very, very basic right now. Uh, so, talk to you. What did they catch us? Oh, darn, Billie Jean. We shouldn't have done it. The frick? We be quiet. They catch nothing if you just keep your mouth shut. This is our ticket. We sell the permits, take the best one for us, and finally get out of the J-12 system. Oh, jeez, Billy, to count the long people for less. I'm totally panicking. Need any permits? What? Who are you? We didn't steal nothing from that guy at FTA Samson. Shut up, Rufus. We didn't do anything wrong. I know you stole those living permits from Prescott at FTA Samson. Give them back. No, you don't get it. You don't... You know how hard life is on J-12 station for the normal population? We don't make some money and get out of here. Uh... What the hell? This trick, I won't fall for it. Uh... They're being under... They're under attack right now. So... Alright, let's go after them, I guess. <laughs> they just... They just got right out of there. Uh, okay. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Okay. Whoa, whoa there. That one. And where are you going? Well, they decided to go pick a fight with a guy that's got a ton of missiles here. There we go. Got those. Uh oh, someone else is targeting me. I don't have any. I don't have a uh, a thing here. I don't have a mini map for some reason. I can't target that either for some reason either. Oh, I guess I had to pick it up. Oh, what the. Come on, what is going on here? I'm in the crossroads of something there going on. What happened to my mini-map? <laughs> I can't even see anything on the mini-map to be able to tell which way to go to get away from these guys. Oh my god, what? What is happening here? What the hell? What is going on? I don't even know. I don't even know what happened there. I don't know what, who was attacking me or anything. I don't know what happened to my mini map or, or any of that stuff. Kill you first. Wow, that was that was fun. Okay. <laughs> I think the game has a little bit of an issue with its with its uh, difficulty curve here.
Whoa. How are you supposed to get... Oh, that's... Mm, that really bothers me. Because that's not... Like, they're, they're dead-eye shots. Like, every, every, every AI is a dead-eye shot in this game. I don't understand how you can... How you can do anything in this game. Like, what's the point of giving me a choice if you're not going to let me actually choose? And I have good... I have good weapons, too. Kidding me. You've got to be freaking kidding me here. Like you can't I, I like how the tip was strafe or die and you strafe and they, they just they just have a dead eye aim. You can't there is no strafing in this game. There's no way to get away from from their from their shots here. And again, if I'm not if I'm not supposed to take this one choice, then why even give me that choice? It doesn't you know, just take that out of the game. <laughs> if you're not gonna if you're not gonna play fair, then don't then just don't give a choice. Freaking hell, man. I'll try it one more time and then we'll have to do something else here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is just... That is not even remotely fair. Um... It surprises me that the game is that unbalanced when it's this close to being released. It's been out for ages, and they're telling me nobody has figured out that this mission here, one of the early missions, is just... Oh, well, that's that's great. Is just literally broken? <laughs> I mean... Like that, I mean, if that's not broken, I don't know what is. Honestly. What? I can't even move. What's going on? Why can't I move? Still, I'm still on the right computer here. What's going on? So their save is also broken. This way a little bit more. Make them follow me up here. Like, how do you even get away from them? Like the only way you can do combat in this game is to is to circle around an enemy, and you can't even circle around an enemy because they've got 
a dead Aim. And for some reason now my engines don't work. I don't I don't think there's I don't think the game is saving properly. There's definitely some sort of bug here. First of all, it should never save in a spot where you can't do anything. shield to come up a little bit more here. can't even get a shot in edgewise here. They don't even let up even a little bit. It's they're clearly not under the same rules that I'm under, which is with energy and stuff and overheating. Which I've never been a fan of in games like this, where it's like the AI gets to break the rules and not have the same restrictions that the players do. See if I can get them to I need to I need them to follow me into like an asteroid belt or something here. Or I need an asteroid for cover or something.
if they decide to... I don't think they're going to follow me, though. And they're definitely not following me. They go back to where they were. I think they went back to their original position here. I thought maybe that I thought maybe that uh, NPC would would help out, but it didn't look like it was. you literally cannot get out of range of that thing it's like it doesn't matter where you're at it will they can hit you with that laser going to be, I guess. Let's see if I can draw them along here. Try to keep them on me, map. We'll just kind of drift along here and see if see how far they follow me. Because maybe they'll follow me back to a station. I can get them to kind of go this way a little bit more. They seem to be following. I can get some. Uh, I can get some turrets up here because I think Sharon still has some turrets around it. Maybe they might help me out. Guess we'll find out in a moment. Turrets are not helping me. Not helping me at all. Which is unfortunate. Be nice if they helped. Go into the asteroid belts because that's not a recipe for disaster. There's 
Still follow me. It's good. Down here a little bit more. See if they can navigate an asteroid field, huh? Look how good they really are. <laughs> uh, suck it. They got destroyed by the asteroid exploding. Good. Uh, let me go grab those. If there's a way to cheese it, I will find a way to cheese it. And that, my friends, was the ultimate cheese. There we go. Right, let's see if there is there any um can I go land there? I guess I can't land on the mining station, can I? Hmm, I guess not. Uh let's go up here and and land. Okay, well, the autopilot is not perfect, apparently. There we go. Okay, can I get uh, some repairs here? Thank you. Use that. 98 credits. Um, good. So now we're repaired and I have to take these things back to that other dude uh, down here, right? Let's go do that. <sighs> that probably took a thousand times longer than it probably that it should have <laughs> to do that quest, but I wanted to do it a certain way, and I did it. Hmm. Really? Damn. Big dudes here. There we go. That should keep them at bay for now. All right, give this guy his thing back. I did. Still need one of those for a family of three. Did me a favor with this one, so here you go, keep it. Thanks, there we go. Cool. Um, hey there, you're a client, right? Of course you are, welcome to the FDA cargo bank. Ship bursting at its hull because you're stored too much trash, don't worry. TA Cargo Bank provides you with a safe storage for all your surplus items. Take a look at your storage. Uh, no, but okay, this is good to know that this is a storage area. Lean Kova is in the visitor. I'm busy protecting our data banks against hackers. Attacks on the system have increased by 168% last week. Pirates started using drones to spy on our transports. They've also implemented primitive brute force methods to break our security. If you'd be assisting me in taking the drones out, the FTA would pay you a good price. All right, I'll take the job. Great, I'll mark those drones on your map, but beware, better equip a long-range weapon for those things. Mm. Good luck out there. 
Okay. At least they warned me. Okay, so we gotta go back to Sharon, I think. Whoops. Ugh, of course. Uh, I think so, yeah. Let's head back this way. Destroy three pirate drones. Now one pirate's getting his butt handed to him by those NPCs. Oh wait, we got a drone around here somewhere. So we've got a pirate here, looks like. Or an enemy of some some sort. Oh, nope, it's just a drone. To, oh, I have the wrong autopilot set here. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, it's a, it's not a bad game. It's um, you know, a little, it's a little indie game, and it. Oh, that autopilot. Oh, okay, I went over top of it. Okay. Um. And uh, it's been in early access for a while. Um. It can be a little frustrating at times, <laughs> as you've as you've seen, because um, some of the balancing I'm not sure they've quite gotten the balance just right yet. Um, but it is coming out of early access on the twentieth, so hopefully between now and then they can tweak some things. Um, let's see, who was I? So Samuel Isaac, still packing any luck, luck with the living permits? Um, about those permits. I got a permit for you guys. Great. You heard that, guys? Get ready to move. Good luck. Uh, so Wallace still packing, but tell me when to get rid of them old parts. Okay, yeah, he wants me to get rid of those parts. Uh, Chandros, uh, right, he wants a he wants his meds. Uh, so I can take his blood then. Uh, where was I supposed to get his meds from? Self-medication. Pluto. Uh, Nation Pluto. Chandros. Pain killers for Chandros. Okay. Get pain killers. Um, I wonder if I'm supposed to get them just from here. like that might be the case. I just received an SOS of some kind. Uh, if I go to Teal's Infirmary and I ask her for some medication I know, don't give him any though. It will calm him down for a while, but it won't make him feel better in the long run. So, what's his problem? As far as I know, there was an epidemic going around on Jupiter a few years ago. The Council of Twelve tried to cover it up, and many people died due to illness. It hit older and weaker people, especially serious. It seems Chandra's pa parents died during that epidemic. His actions are understandable, I just can't handle it right now. Maybe you can do something about him. It will take a lot of persuading and patience. Good luck. Uh, yeah, but... Um, Working on it. Oh, it won't let me take the other path where it's like you. I told her you wouldn't give it up for it. Hmm. Well, um. 
Mackenzie. Uh, better let him rest. Maybe I should just ask him. Well, it looks like he really could use the rest. Yeah. All right. Better let him rest. Um, sun, moon. Who is this? Uh, what? Did you say something? I was sleeping. Sorry, I was talking to myself. Now I'm awake. What do you want to know? Um, who is this guy? He's from the Sphere. Teal brought him in right after the soldiers landed in a colony. Uh, he was hurt and unconscious. I think he and his brother crashed on Pluto not long ago. Uh, soldiers, you mean Caduceus? They look like soldiers to me. They ordered everyone around a lot. Uh, his brother? His name is Kim Moon. He should be in the colony. Oh, okay. That's, so that's the brother that he was talking about. Um... Hmm. What do I have? Do I? What do I have in my inventory here? Wasn't there a? Oh, you know what? There's a um, on Nix, right? Was that guy on Nix here? Let's go there, because maybe he has some painkillers. Ration, yeah, this dude. Uh, can I see your goods? Yeah, here we go. There's some painkillers. Accept those, and um, I'll give you. <laughs> I'll sell you some trash and some military clothing and some vegetables. There you go. <laughs> that's that's the kind of trader I am. Uh. Was there something? Oh yeah, I wanted better guns, didn't I? For two thousand, I think I could probably. It's... Oh, not the not the painkillers, no. Uh, those. Let's trade those in. Me twelve. All right. So, uh, get out of there, and then I'll go to down here again. And I could give this guy the painkillers I just bought for him. And then he'll give me his blood, and then that should be done, right? Got your meds. Really? Your first one listened to me. No one wanted to help me out anymore. Thanks a lot. This will take care of my headache as soon as possible. I'm willing to give you my sample now. Give me the blood vial. I'll take it to Teal later. Okay. So I think that's all of them. You hand out the blood test vials, and you start testing samples to calm everyone down. I handed them out. Thanks. Uh, I hope I can finish this test as soon as possible, and everyone in the colony will settle down a bit. Okay, that's good. I took care of that. Um, was it the garage where he had some good stuff? Um, Car container, show me my ships. What blueprints do you have? Oh, he's got blueprints. Okay. Okay, never mind. Um, maybe later. Uh, I can go to... Was it this guy over here? I think it's this guy over here. What do we have here? Destroy three pirate drones, three pirate drones, three pirate drones. And then, uh... Down here is... Jurgen. And then there's Caduceus Station. Okay. I uh, see what they're doing. Can I go in here and... 
energy cells. Okay, let's go here. What goods you have? Yeah, you're the one that had the Nort belt gun, right? Actually, no, that's not the one. Uh, Sora shooter. Wow, that's a lot of money. Um, Maxim gun what was it? Oh, I have those already. Maxim guns do more DPS than these things do. But the Sora shooter does 40. It's 5200. I don't have that, but I can at least get a mining laser here. What's the. Wait, what's. Oh, I can't do the Comrade Cannon. I don't have enough for that. Well, what's the. This armor. Oh. He's really good. It's a really good shield. Um, there's additional armor here. What's the Magellan one? We become an even better explorer with the ultimate modification, which lets you see much further. Motor manipulator. Uh, improve cargo placements. Gives me more cargo room. Um... This is good as well. You want those? And not worry about the mining laser right now. 2387 I have to give back. Oof. This is only 650. And yeah. Well, I can get the armor at least. Uh, yeah, I do have to give him my mining laser though, but that's fine. Cause I probably am not gonna do any mining right now so well actually you know what i could do that right because i'm going to get rid of the, that shield anyway and then still can't get the mining laser though but i can probably get this right nope <laughs> nope that is a negatory but i can get the additional armor for now uh at least there's something there uh, to help out a bit and yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Sounds like a trade. Okay. So uh, enough of that. Let's leave. And let's just see if there's any other jobs in the bar here. Jobs. Tesla. Tesla again, huh? All right. Damn, Vasquez is making problems again. You there. You could use your help again. Uh, hell yeah. Seems like I got the right person. Vasquez and his men are standing close by to raid our latest load of minerals. Griswold is dealing with a supply bottleneck right now. That's why we can't spare any extra equipment out here. Try to keep our transports alive. Okay. I will try to do that. Let me uh, equip all this stuff first. That. And additional armor. Bam. And cool. Seems fine right now. Uh, so we gotta go down that way where the shield icon is. Hopefully my shield charges up by then. Transport one ready to go. Keep those pirates away from me, comrade. This one's pretty close to Griswold, so I bet Vasquez will hold his men back for now, but watch out just in case. Oop. Okay, oh yeah, this. Okay, so this is launching them. I think I remember this this mission way back when. Alright, he pretty well taken care of. He went really fast. Good job, I'm safe. Do the same for my brothers, will ya? Why the next transporter? Uh, where's the next one at? Oh, it's down even further. Okay. Okay, I got it.
Transport 2 ready to go. Men do not charge. That second transport is too close to go through all in their turret range. Charge! Charge! Captain said charge. Third squad attack. No! Damn it, fools! Okay. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Oh, more of them. Try to bump this guy along a little bit. Get up here and this guy. There we go. Oh, leveled up too. They got my Brian ready. Get all my brothers safe back home. We'll spend. We'll buy you a drink. Okay. Uh, where's the next one at? All the way down here. Even further down. Alright, there we go. Let's get on the other opposite side of it here. You're under attack. Transport 3, ready to go. It's my last tour before my vacation comment. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> I was I was two days from retirement. Time for real, man. Attack with full force. Don't leave any cargo unstolen. Oh boy. Here we go. Actually destroyed themselves by bumping into into themselves there. <laughs> They're actually shooting each other. There we go. All right, so far so good. So in route, and I think he's still got a good. Amount of health, decent amount of health here. I think we are home, home free. Yep, there he goes. Great job, I'm safe. Do the same for my last brother. Oh, there's another one? Wow. There's yet another one. Wait, no, that said that said that, that was the final one, right? Uh, I guess there is another one up here. I thought he only wanted three transports, but Apparently there's a fourth one. Transport 4, ready to leave mining station. Not far away from Greasewell, though. Let's not let that one slip through our fingers, man. Target it with your long-range rockets. Oh, boy. Rockets! Oh, boy. 
Here we go with long range rockets. Well, I didn't want to hit that. Where's this thing at? are attacking me and not the transport. That's good. Actually, there is one attacking the transport. Take it over there to it. And get my thruster back on here. Come on. Come on, thruster. I think the transport made it one way or the other. And straight to the bar. He says. Anytime I got more pirates attacking me. Bam. <laughs> just, just bump right into him. Okay. Go land. And collect on that. Got all four of them. Good job, I'll pay you accordingly. 800 credits. Nice. As Kez keeps being an annoyance, his main force is way too strong, we might have to pick them apart unit by unit. Learned that one of his more important guys is taking a daily trip outside the belt. Some kind of loner, maybe? Anyway, if you take him out, I'll give you a big price for his head. Okay. Great, mark his location on your map. Good luck. Uh, Alright, let's go get repaired first. Six credits to repair? Okay. Or, well, actually, it only cost me two. There you go. Uh, a deal. Okay, so where is this guy at? Is it this one down here? I don't know which one it is. They all have the same icon. I'm assuming it's this one, because I don't think this one was here before. So we'll go that way. He said he was coming out of the belt. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, also I do need to do character stuff, right? Let's get some persuasion here. I think we need it. Uh, here's our stats. Overview. Okay. We have one persuasion now. <laughs> Excellent. Should know better than to have just persuasion out the wazoo. But I figured being able to defend myself was a better prospects Is that a comet there? I think that was a comet. Well, this is certainly somebody. Wow, that laser he's got, though. I'm not even doing I'm not even doing any damage to him at all. <laughs> it's literally doing zero damage to him. 
All right. Well, we'll have to put that one off for a little, for a little bit. And did I? Uh, I think this was saved after I left. Yeah. Okay. So. With that said, then we have. Oh, is that? Oh, wait. Eliminate Fernandez. Maybe that's the one. There. You want me to do? That other one might have been like the pirate. That, that looked like a pirate beacon, so that must have been the pirate beacon thing. When they said, make sure you have long range weapons. You disturbing Fernandez's peaceful walk outside the belts. Fernandez needs the choir to get inspired. Inspired to kill Captain Vasquez. <laughs> Fernandez needs to talk about himself in the third person. Okay, wow. That's he's got a cheaty a cheaty uh weapon. That's that's great. That's a little ridiculous. That's really ridiculous that you can't even, like, get even a little bit close to them. Like, look how cheaty that, that weapon is. Like, they could, he, he just sits there and spins in place. And I can't do anything about it. That's just, that's ridiculous. I, I don't understand the combat in this game. It's like... I really, I really don't get it. I really don't get the combat in this game. It's so, it feels so unbalanced that it, I, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish here. I really don't, but maybe he'll follow me into the belt here and, and get his butt blown up. There we go. I'm draining his shield by making him run headlong into that asteroid. And that asteroid blows, it might destroy him? No? Okay, it wasn't one of the, oh, it's one of these volatile ones. It's like they're forcing me to cheese ball all these all this combat because it's just wildly unfair. Could just 
Like I can get him to drain his own shields, but then I can't get around to like get a good shot in on him. I find one of these that explodes. I forget which one explodes. Oh, and this, this, ugh, I hate this. I hate these controls. I really do. This moving, moving towards the mouse thing. Oh man, that's just annoying. You can't do small maneuvers. Like I'm trying to maneuver around a thing, and it, it keeps moving towards my towards my mouse cursor, and it just annoys the crap out of me. Really do not like that. Those controls that they have. And all the controls are relative to the screen. So this is always over that way. This is always over that way. It never changes depending on which way you're, you're uh, facing. So it makes it even more confusing when you're facing the, a different way than you expect and you end up thrusting the wrong way. Damn it! I almost had him. Uh, again, these controls are, are. I can never get. I cannot get used to these controls. They're just wrong in every respect of the term. You don't thrust the way you think you're gonna thrust. It's just. It's weird. I. It's, I, I don't know how else to put it. You know. It's like you saw me even with that one asteroid where I was trying to go around the other side of the asteroid, but I kept hitting the wrong thrust button. Because the, the one you would expect it to be is not the one that it is. Alright, there we go. He ended up killing himself. It still feels, it feels not great. 
Like, I like cheese balling and stuff, but man, this game kind of requires you to do it. And it's really starting to grate on my nerves. over here on oh, Nick's oh yeah that's the I gotta find a buyer for these other things for those other parts that I have Take care of that pirate. He's a goner. Great. Now these guys have a hard time scouting out transports. Cool. Uh, let's see if we can do the main quest, perhaps. Uh, which is way over here. Actually, I, well, I don't have anything that will get me there. Um, I still don't have like the skills to go and open that one lockbox that we saw. There we go. Keep an eye on the on the me map down there. See what's what's coming up here. Stopped us from raiding Pluto, didn't you? You know how much money went in all those ships that attacked your colony? You've wrecked them all. It's time to pay up. Okay. Uh, got it. Let's do what we do here. That one guy, I think, is easy enough. Yeah. What? Okay, we got a missile do now. Right. Right. Okay. Let's see what we're doing here. I wasn't expecting a missile do to come up behind me. in him. This one's a little more reasonable as far as guns are concerned.
around here a little bit. Down here and away from that other guy. Up top. Ship's got a turret, but I can't have a turret. I mean, if the game had made it to that your main, your primary weapons were all were all turrets and stuff, then I could understand the way it controls. But right now, with this, the way this like constantly spins you around, wherever your mouse is and stuff, that just is annoying because you can't do any maneuvers. That you would want to do. This is constantly interrupting maneuvers. Like if I want to just, you know, like I was trying to do there, where I was trying to like strafe him a little bit, can't do it. Just can't do it. The, the controls don't allow you to do that, which is weird because what else? I mean, what else are you going to do in this game, combat-wise, other than make them destroy themselves by bashing into into rocks like this? I just don't understand the, the thought process behind it. I really don't. So strong, who are you? Damn you to hell, that pirate dropped something suspicious. I should pick it up. Yeah, he did. He certainly did. Along with a bunch of trash. A modulator. Some sort of modulator. I don't know what that was. Cardona modulator gamma. One of four modulator keys. Okay. Hmm. Got it. Also, some more stuff here to pick up. Iron, silver, and platinum. Now we got this missile guy coming after us. Oh, but he's he has he has decided to go away. That's good. I'm being attacked. Oh, really? How about this guy? Okay, sure. Alright, that's a lot of guys in one little cluster there. A little ridiculous. So we have up here, they just neutrals, I guess. We don't, we don't know what they are yet. A 
Oh, there's a, it looks like a station down here. Ah, uh, well, we're almost to where we want to be. Okay. Gonna land there and try to repair, but yeah, we're almost to where we need to be. Hey, watch out! Oh, jeez. Banged right into her. Hey, you watch out! Crap, thrusters are shutting down. I lost stealth. Engine is rebooting. Damn, where did you just where did you come from? Listen, I've got some bad guys on my six. They're most likely to attack any second. Don't listen to a word they're saying and be ready. Oh great. There she is, that's the girl Dr. Nortex wants us to bring back to the station. Give us quite a hunt, Missy. Leave us alone, we haven't done anything wrong. Uh I don't know what's going on here, but no means no, guys. You there, this doesn't concern you. This woman is a criminal. Better back off. You don't want to get involved with the doctor. Outrageous. I'm not a criminal. Uh, doesn't look like a criminal to me. She tried to break into the Nexus back at Caduceus Station. She's no more than a common thief. We already caught her friend, by the way. You will have his trial all fair and square back at the station. This Missy will, too. Can't leave her alone. Doctor's orders. I was alone, and I have no friends. You didn't catch nothing. Uh... Wait, are you from the same group that visited Pluto not long ago? Oh, snap, you're from Pluto? Tell that guy Mackenzie I'm sorry. To be honest, I was aiming for his chest. You shut up, Rizzo. Look, that was an accident. And Rizzo here has a high temper. We are not the bad guys here, but you still want to get involved? Um, if you're the same guys, I'm already involved anyway. And you're both going to join your friend for a sit-down with Heimware back at Caduceus Station. You had your chance. Destroy attackers and protect Calypso. Okay. little help here would be nice. Just sitting there and not moving around is not really helping matters. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Come on here. I'm gonna go through all this again. Um, yeah, well, uh, uh, all the same stuff. Oh, come on. Like, how? Oh, this is... This is annoying. This is not how you do difficulty. This is... This is not... You want to make a difficult game, it's got to be fair and difficult, not just plain ridiculous. And this is just plain ridiculous. Like, what are you... What are you even supposed to do here? I gotta go through this crap again. Come on.
<sighs> Phew, that was close. Thanks for the help, by the way. These Caduceus guys really had it out for me. Um, yeah, they already caused some trouble at my colony. Seems Caduceus is stirring up a lot of problems in the sector in general. They're getting more and more aggressive. To be honest, I left someone behind, a colleague of mine. But it's pretty obvious that I'm not welcome at there anymore. It's asking a bit much after bumping into you like this, but could you take a look around the station and pick them up? Yeah, I'm on my way there anyway. Great, really? That means a lot. My name is Clipso, by the way, and sorry for crashing into you. It wasn't your fault. The man I need you to find is called Devi. He may not look like it, but he's a pretty resourceful guy. Get him out of there and to Callisto. It's a moon around Jupiter. Let me mark it on your map. Here's one of my feathers so that Devi will recognize you. He can be pretty suspicious. Um... Put it on my chest, I guess. Good idea. It looks good on you. So remember, try and find Thentevi and bring him to Callisto. Okay. There's level five. Uh, wait, didn't I put... Oh, I guess it didn't, it didn't save the fact that I put a point in persuasion, huh? Okay. Um, sharpshooter... Explorer. No knowledge of engineering. Um, critical chance increase. Alright, I'll take that, I guess. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait, let's grab this thing floating around here. CAD gun. Another CAD gun. Alright. Don't need those. I already have something better than those. Man, how far are we again? Wow, we're still pretty far out. <laughs> Damn, it's quite the distance out. Hall. Before standing in line waiting to be treated, supervised by military guards. Assistant doctor. Uh, who was I supposed to talk to? I don't even remember. Was it Dr. Orish? There's sick people in here. What's going on? Why is no one being treated? Please, Dr. Orish, we are overburdened and there's a staff shortage. If you would apply for a job here and stop working for the ISA, you could help these people. Otherwise, stay in line. Yeah, stay in line or help. I was first here. Help, I'm pregnant. I think my contractions are starting. Uh, we need a doctor here? I'll handle this. Get me some hot water and some towels. Now. Uh, me? Shit. Okay, I want it. <laughs> um, I guess you're going to have to wait. <laughs> Because I don't have any of that in my inventory. Uh, Harrison Cruz. I'm where? Uh, desk clerk. J12. Alright, there's a lot of people here. Um, but I think... Yeah, I, I, I think this has been a good extended first impressions um, of the game. Technically a second impression, but I didn't remember any of it so it's all been brand new to me 
uh, so far here. Let's go and save that. Um, there we go. And I wonder if this will take me back to the menu. Next to the main menu. That's what I want to do. All right, friends. Uh, this has been Gaia Beyond. Um, it is by uh, Warp Turtle, and it's currently right now in early access on Steam for 15 bucks US. But the release of it is coming out uh, based on the email I received from the devs on the 20th. Um, so between now and then, they I think everything that's supposed to be in the game is in the game, but between now and then they'll be doing bug fixes and other things. Um, so my impression, art style is awesome. The music is really good. Um, the story is passable. I mean, it's something to get you from one station to the next and one, one place to another. Um, really not liking the combat at all. Um, it's just not, it's too, it's, it's, it feels like it has large ships in mind, but not small ships. And if it had large ships in mind, then they should give you a large ship when you start out, not just a small shuttle. Um, because, you know, it, honestly, they should just have a, a turret they should have your guns on a turret like normal 2d top-down games and have that be the mouse control and then leave the wasd keys alone let them control the ship the way you would expect them to because at least then you know at least then with them not changing direction when with the way that you're facing at least it would then make like the a and d keys are strafing keys which is weird instead of turning your ship like you would expect them to. Um, but I, that's fine. It's just that the problem is your mouse is constantly overriding your direction. So those keys don't end up working properly when you're trying to try to maybe circle around an enemy or something. Not to mention the fact that it's not, it's not impossible to circle around any enemies because they're already, they're always faster than you. Um, you know, they just, they'll just sit there in space and just keep spinning, firing their weapons at, are you know go across the entire screen uh so you can't see them you have to hit them from well off screen in order to be able to to do anything um and that just feels it feels buggy and incomplete is is what the combat feels like it feels like the combat just was never really ironed out like it needs to be it doesn't feel good um it's as you saw, I had to resort to a lot of cheese ball tactics. Like I had to let the, the ships destroy themselves basically by running into asteroids in order to get through anything. Um, my impression is that their intention was to have you like sit around and mine and make a bunch of money and then get into a bigger ship right away. But if you don't want to mine and you just want to play, you, you just want to get the quests and get the story what are you going to do then? Like, you know, they give you these, and again, they give you these choices in game. Like, do you want to fight these guys? Do you want to try to persuade them? And, um, but then they, they make each choice. They haven't balanced the choices out with what you're, with what you're, you're, you're doing with, with your ship and all that stuff. It's just, it's just weird all around. It's like, they really want you to just putter around for, two hours mining stuff and selling it off in order to get a big ship before you do any quest, which is just, I mean, in fairness to them, that's kind of how you play X4 and games like in the, in the X series, but I don't know that it's, it's not, uh, it doesn't really sit well with me. I think they really, really needed to take a step back and think about how they want their combat to be, or at least make it so that the AI is, does something more than just sit and spin. 
and be able to hit you from any angle without any problems whatsoever. You know what I mean? Um, so I, that's kind of where I say, stand with that. Given how much combat they want you to do, like if, if combat wasn't as prominent as it was in this game, like, I mean, literally you're getting attacked constantly, right? If you weren't getting attacked constantly, it probably wouldn't be so bad because then you'd at least have a chance to um, do some of the other things and, and try and uh, get better equipment and all that stuff. But given how often you're under fire, the fact that the combat has not really, is, is that unsatisfying is just strange, strange to me. Like what have you been working on if you haven't been, if combat is so prominent, why is it, why does it feel so, so bad? Um, and that's, uh, I, I don't understand the reasoning behind that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's how I, how I see it here. It's a good, I still like the game. I still like the idea behind the game. And honestly, if I wasn't trying to show the game off, I might've stayed, I might've sat around for two hours and, uh, you know, mined asteroids, even though. The mining in the game is ridiculously slow. Like, I mean, seriously, like you could you could speed it up by two times the speed, and it'd still be kind of slow, <laughs> you know, uh, mining stuff. Uh, so, it, you know, if that was the uh, for someone who wasn't trying to show all the different play things of the game off, they might sit around and 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 put around and do that, but. Uh, as far as trying to progress in things and, and um yeah and, and the xp stuff is is okay but it's uh were those upgrades actually doing any good i don't know i feel like the weapons upgrades were doing better than the actual pilot upgrades like the critical hit chance and all that stuff i i couldn't tell you if that was actually making any kind of difference at all if, if it was it was very very subtle um so uh it, it felt very much like you're stuck in place it, it doesn't feel like your pilot is actually improving and i mean it, your ship kind of does because it gets better weapons and stuff but um it doesn't feel like as a pilot you're progressing really it feels like that was just kind of just kind of there as a way to say that this is has rpg mechanics but then they don't really seem to affect the gameplay that much all that much um so especially and the game i also don't like that the game starts you out at zero persuade and they give you all these options for persuading guys and you can't do anything, which is another reason why I feel like they must really want you to just sit around and and mine asteroids um, for two hours before you actually do any story, because they start out at zero persuade, which means you can't persuade anybody, you can't repair anything, you can't do anything like that, and the only way to get to to get that up is to uh, grind out some levels. Uh, like I, I mean, I was getting to persuade at what level five. You know, that after spending some points in in um, weapons and stuff, so I don't know. It just feels it, it feels a little a little bit off, um, which is unfortunate because I, I there's a lot of effort that's been put into this. I can tell there's a lot of effort that's been put into it. It just doesn't it just doesn't feel good um, from just from a player perspective. Um, so, and again, the story is, like I said, it's something to get you from place to place. It's not really, um, compelling at all. It's just kind of a thing that's there, uh, just to give you a reason to, to move around. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I, those, those are my, my thoughts on it. Um, but, uh, hopefully this extended first look. Uh, we'll give all of you a an opportunity to make a judgment call for yourselves as to what you think uh, about the game. Um, and uh, that's that. That's it for me. Uh, for those who will be watching uh, the video, 
uh, up on the YouTubes and other things. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.